Hey, Shalom. All praises to you. How about Shem? How shy about Shem? Dash. A much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. Um, all you believers and all you brothers that are um, convicted in these times of who you are in these times. Um, faith, mercy, and discernment. These are the heavy, the heaviest matters in the scriptures. Like the Lord said, these are the heavier matters. So these are the most important things of the Bible. So uh, faith is believing, really believing. Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Um, the new covenant is built on these. You notice uh, the word prophecy ain't in there because the new covenant there, they are built on faith, mercy, and discernment. That's what these things are built on. And uh, one of the things is too, man, we don't hold grudges against nobody. Uh, we're just teaching in a way to make you understand and to get you to repent out of your own heart. All right? Because we teach out of love. I actually love to do this. So, um, <clears throat> you is no amount of money that you could pay uh, the prophets or me or Paul, somebody like Paul or, or, or Yahweh Shai to teach false doctrine. Um, the spirit that we're in and the apostles were in in the book of Acts and that the Lord was in, it was a, it was a non-compromising spirit, which it was a spirit out of love. You see, we did this, all of us, we, we do it for out of the love of our heart because we actually <clears throat> have love for our people like that as opposed to the majority of our people which are the flesh they love money and they love this world we actually have love for the people opposed to entertaining you we we actually have love for you when guys just want to entertain you and tell you lies and dance and joke around and shit you know and, and feed you bullshit so that is the difference between us. Just like back in the ancient times, uh, Paul had compassion. Yahweh Shai, he had compassion. And th these were the driving factors behind why we teach faith, mercy, and discernment. Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You see that? For faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right. So if you really have faith, then you you believe in the things that's not actually there. Like we believe in love. We believe in the faith. We believe in the mercy. We believe in the discernment. We believe in the true judgment. So without these factors, you won't be able to see and you don't have true judgment. Basically, you don't have any faith. Without Yahweh Shai, it all goes back into Yahweh Shai. Everything went unto Yahweh Shai. That's why Moses specifically told you that you're going to have to follow Yahweh Shai because all the power fell under him. And the Lord gave everything unto his son. All power has been given unto his son. Matter of fact, I love reading this. Matthew 28 and 18, Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So the Lord controls everything right now. So, faith, real quick. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen for by the report for by it, the elders have obtained a good report through faith. We understand the worlds were formed by the word of power because it was the word. First was the word. It says so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. By faith. 
Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Right. So by faith, Abel did what was right because he had the faith in him to do the right thing. Now, just like when you go to um, the scripture tell you that Cain slew his brother because his sacrifice was better than his. And that is the spirit that's on our people because the sacrifice that they're giving up in this time is the sacrifice of fools because they don't have any faith. So they're in that spirit of Cain. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And the spirit of Cain is in these guys, man. Don't let these guys make you think that Esau is the, the, the fucking escape goat. Esau is the um is the Esau came out of the wickedness of our people. So Esau was was formed as punishment. So so this is what you gotta understand about Esau. Esau was formed as a as a sword on our people for these times. And the way the way that is looking is like there Esau's not even really enough for our people like that. Because even though they build so many jails and they got all this shit going on in the world, from the food to the air and to all this, our people are still overpassing the deeds of the wicked. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's really heavy in this time. Everything that's through everything that's been set up is still not enough for Jake, pretty much. Jake is still overpassing the deeds of the wicked in this time. It's just that the majority of our people, they're actually closed off from God. Now, they might have a zeal, but according to knowledge, they don't actually know God, bro. It's heavy. Uh, 1 John 3 and 12. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew him, because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Right. So what's evil in this time? Uh, being outside of Yahweh Shai, the scriptures tell you, if you're not in the the covenant of Yahweh Shai, you're in transgression. That is the heaviest transgression right now, to be outside of the new covenant that was established. A lot of guys don't understand that, because they're they're of the wicked one. That's why the Lord said, uh, the, the tares are sown together in the field. Who did this? The wicked one. So now what you have to do is see uh, who are those seeds. Hebrews 11 and 4 says, by faith, Abel offer unto the power a more excellent sacrifice than came by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it, he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because the power God had translated him. Before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased God. Right. So you had Enoch didn't see death. Uh, I think it was Elijah. He didn't see death either. Um, um, if I'm not mistaken, is 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 one more I think that didn't didn't that didn't uh, see death that but that would they were beamed up by uh, it may be just those two. It says, but but without faith it is impossible. So it goes back to faith now. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So this new covenant is based totally on faith. So by God telling you you need to be in the land or you need to see a new body. That is not orchestrated by faith. So guys are teaching another doctrine. All right. And because this is so important and a few of us have been gifted uh, with the understanding we have, we have to teach this and make as many a man understand this as possible because this is the end of all things. This is an unbelieving world. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Well, he cannot come to the power. Must He says, for he that cometh to the power must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. So it's like. If you're not in the new covenant, then you're not pleasing God. 
because the new covenant is totally based off faith. Matter of fact, let's read what the Lord said. One of my favorite scriptures too. Everything the Lord said is like my favorite because it's like the Lord is telling you what it is and what you have to do is just follow it, what the Lord was saying and you won't go wrong. Matthew 23 and 23, what do you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithes of anise, cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. This is what guys are omitting. So when you omit the new covenant and say you're waiting, so why are you wait? You don't have any faith and you don't have true discernment. Because if guys had true discernment, they'll be telling you to um, repent and come into the Lord's covenant. But they don't have true discernment. That means their judgment is way off. Yeah, guys speaking about what, what Moab's going to do. It's it's crazy. It, Moab, it don't matter what these, these heathens are going to do. Everybody, the order is Israel, the Israel of God. It matters what we're doing. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Matthew 23 and uh, 23. Woe to you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, right? Woe to you, you, you elders, you high priests, and you camp leaders. I think Hosea, Hosea was specifically talking to, to you fucking camp heads. It says, for you pay up tithes of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, right? These are the heavy matters in this time. The heavy matters. There's nothing more heavier than uh, judgment, mercy, and faith. It says, and you have omitted the heavier matters of the law. So by omitting the heavier matters, you took Yahweh Shai out of it. But you say Yahweh Shai is in it, but really he's not really in it. You may guys think that the Lord's in it, but really the Lord's not in it because you're not following his agreement. But what's beautiful is only the few of us can actually follow the Lord's agreement. It says you have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy and faith. These you have ought to done and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides with strain in a net and swallow a camel. So the heavier matters of the law, these guys are unable to give you. You see, the, 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 the shit that don't matter, they can give you. But the things that matter the most, they, they, uh, they, 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 they can't swallow it. You see? <laughs> The heavier matters, they don't pertain unto them because it wasn't given unto them. So this is one of the things that we're, we're seeing in these days, too. It says, what do you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup. Um, for you for you may clean the outside of the cup, but within are full of extortion and excess. Right. So these guys. The, the shit uh, that they're straining at is is the things that um, matter the most. They, they make a big deal out of shit that don't matter. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what the Lord's saying. So they're blind. And what they what matters to them is the outside is how they look. How many views they're getting? How many zombies are subscribing to them? You see what I'm saying? So it is, it is heavy in these times. It says, for you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and of and access. Right. So the these guys, they have the look, but on the inside, they're dead man's bones. And remember what Samuel told David. He said, the Lord look upon a man's heart. And so guys without pure hearts in this time, they're straining at a net and they're swallowing the camel. That means they're focused on the things that don't matter.
and the things that matter the most, they're unable to pick them up. So you got to understand what's actually happening in these times. So the heavier, the heaviest matters of the Bible are faith, mercy, and discernment. It says, Thou blind Pharisees cleanse first that which is within the cup, that the outside of them may be clean also, right? So guys are unable to repent from within. You know, they can tell you all this shit that's going on in the world but they're unable to tell you to repent from within. Woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like white sepulchers, which indeed appear beautiful, but are within full of dead man's bones and of all uncleanliness. Even so, outwardly you appear righteous unto man, but within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. So the heavier matters of the law is faith, mercy, and discernment. So dealing with mercy is dealing with charity. And true charity is actually teaching men Yahweh Shai. Actually, actually teaching them the Lord. Matthew 5 and 7, it says, Bless are the merciful, so they shall obtain mercy. So everybody don't have the love of God in them. Just like everybody is not um, under any under grace right now. Just like everybody is not the election. Matthew 9 and 13. But go ye and learn what that mean. If I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am come to call the righteous. I am not come to call the righteous but sinners unto repentance. Right. So men that can acknowledge that they're sinners. And acknowledge where they're going wrong. This is who the Lord is having mercy on. So all you guys that's in these groups and you certain guys teaching doctrines or doing things the Lord didn't do. The Lord is not calling for you. So all these sacrifices, these guys is going out to the highways. They're not even sacrifices. They're not. They're not sacrifices. The Lord ain't even hearing that shit. Because first of all, you ain't obeying his son. So all that shit guys is doing is actually that shit is all in vain. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10. Verse uh, uh start up at forty two, Mark ten and forty two. But Yahweh Shai called them to him and said unto them, Ye know that they which are counted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. You see? And that's what these the, these this the the camp leaders and the, the these guys in these groups they're exercising lordship. Oh, he's not they not a part of our camp anymore. It don't matter if it, are you a part of the Lord? <laughs> it's crazy. Guys are like, oh, they're not part of our gang anymore. They're not cool like us. You see, so even when guys do that, it's just like, well, what you're trying to do is. You're trying to damage men credibility, which over time, just like we've been proving, is that you have the the, 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 the kettle calling the, the pot black. <laughs> Guys are the fucking cattle, the handle calling the the black ass handle calling the pot black. They're they're telling men. That, hey, uh, they're not a part of us when these guys are not even a part of God themselves. It's heavy, man. So guys are in the Gentile mind state exercising lordship, talking about you got to go through them. Where the fuck did the Lord say that, that you had to go through groups? 
The Lord said he is the door. And in that chapter, John 10, he says it twice. I am the door. And it says, and ye know they that which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. The great ones exercise authority upon them, but it shall not be among you. But whosoever is great among you shall be your minister. Right. So it's about teaching. You don't just exercise lordship. You be a true minister. And let's look up this word minister real quick, because everybody like to speak on this word minister. A lot of guys are not ministers, man. A lot of guys are, are fucking false brethren. That's why a lot of guys uh, don't like uh, like us over here or me, so to speak. Is because they know that we really see guys over here. You see, we really see guys. Let's see. Um, the word minister in the scripture. Strong's G 1249. Diakonos. Diakonos. It says one who executes and commands of another, of a master, of a servant, attendant, or minister. So one who executes or commands another, especially of a master or a servant. Right, so the commands is of Yahweh Shai. So if you're a minister of the new covenant, like I hear guys always talking about we're ministers of the new covenant, then what you're doing is you're administering what the Lord taught and what the Lord did. And so a lot of you guys are the new covenant. You're not administering what the Lord commanded you to, to do. So that don't that doesn't make you ministers. It says the servant of a king. Right. So a lot of you guys are not really servants of Yahweh Shai. It says a deacon. It says one who by virtue of the assignment, the office to him by the church cares for. It says uh, a deacon, one who by virtue of the office is assigned to him by the church cares for the poor has charged and distributes the money collected for the use right exactly so by virtue it is the office that assigned to him by the church who cares for the poor that and the lord said uh in matthew what was that luke that he has come to to to, to free the captives right so that's what we're here to do and you can only free men through the new covenant if you're not Bring men into the new covenant, then what's happening is basically you're you're holding men down. That's what you're doing. So this is one of the things that a lot of guys don't understand either. Is like if you're not really teaching the new covenant and and doing as the Lord did, then you're not part of it. And so definitely, guys, that's in these groups, you're not ministering anything. Your guys are ministers of Satan. Because when you go back to. Uh, um, the book of Acts, the only thing they taught was uh, Yahweh Shai. It says a way to one who serves food and drink heavy. <laughs> so a minister is like a, a waiter. He's a server. You're supposed to be serving uh, the food and the spiritual meat of Yahweh Shai. Which are what? The heavier matters of the law. Making men understand Yahweh Shai. That's it. Making men believe. And by you teaching the Lord like you're teaching them, that shows you have love for the Lord. And that shows you actually have judgment and, and discernment. So by how guys are teaching, we can tell that guys don't have love. They really don't believe or they don't have the true judgment. So it's heavy. It says a minister, servant, deacon. So a minister is someone that is command that is executing the commands of Yahweh Shai. All right. So by you executing the commands of Yahweh Shai, this is what makes you a minister. Teaching what he taught, not your own shit. 
not the fucking elders. The elders are way off in these last days. Because a lot of guys have made a covenant with death and hell, which they cannot, they're bound in. They're they're bound in that shit. These camps have the spirit of being uh, enslaved. And so they're enslaved to the doctrine that they're teaching to the mindless zombies in their camps that follow them. So you gotta you gotta understand this too. So a minister of the new covenant. Is one who executes the, the commands of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. He is a waiter, one who serves. You're supposed to be serving the Lord by teaching men to get them to understand the covenant. And you care for the poor. Matter of fact, let's read uh, that in Luke real quick. So if you're not really teaching what the Lord taught, you're not a minister. You got all these guys, oh, we're the ministers of this. But then you teaching men the, the old Passover laws because you don't really understand Yahweh Shai like that. The Last Supper, Yahweh Shai didn't feed them no fucking lamb. So you guys following these these guys in the New Covenant that don't really understand what the fuck they're teaching. That means that you don't have any understanding of your goddamn self. Luke four and eighteen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because. Because he have anointed me to preach the gospel unto the poor. And he have sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance unto the captive. To recover the sight of the blind. And to set liberty to them that are bruised. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Freeing men. Not bounding men in, in satanic doctrine. Or camp doctrine. Or the old Passover. Guys celebrating the whole Passover. You're in, the, you're in bondage. You see, all you fucking guys teaching that shit. So the new covenant is where the heaviest matters of the law are. Without the new covenant, you're not in the heavier matters of the law. Without the new covenant, prophecies is not the heaviest matters. These heathen nations, Esau, Moab, they don't matter. None of these, the, the Lord said they're like a drop of the bucket. And uh, second edges, let me read that real quick. So you guys that like to teach about um, um, Moab and all this shit, that means you're, you're spittle too. <laughs> it's crazy as hell. That's what you guys are. Second edges 6 and 56. As for the other people which also come out of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Right, so we all come out of uh, Adam, right? Let, let me let's go up and get some contents, like the brother always says. Second Edges 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest, the Lord of all creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before the Lord power, because thou hast made the world for our sakes, right, for Jacob. That's why Jacob is the form of all things. And he and when Jake is in his wicked state, he overpasses everybody deeds of wickedness. So it's just naturally that uh, our people are, are skilled naturally better than everybody. And even being a devil, they're out skilling the devil. Even though this is the devil's world and the devil can't really hold our people like that. It's heavy. So just think about it on the other hand. And when you figure out that you're of God, bro, that makes you invincible, bro. Because the capabilities of the spirit uh, is no limit on it. It's, 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 you are able to move mountains like the Lord said. If you have faith, you'll be able to move mountains. Mountains are big as obstacles. And that's what faith can do. So guys without the new covenant, they don't have any faith. They're all carnal. And we're teaching you brothers and you believers to be able to see that. You see, there's no amount of money can pay for what we're teaching brothers. You cannot buy this. The treasure of the Lord is hid in the open field. And when that person go and find that treasure in that open field, he go hide it again. 
Second Andrew 6 and 56. As for the other people which thou hast come out of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. So God is teaching about Esau and all these other heathen nations that just mean our people there in the state of heathens. Right, so if Jake is wicked, he's going to be all the way wicked. That means guys are all the way against the new covenant. You see what I'm saying? It's heavy like that. And has a liking the abundance of them unto a drop that is falling from a vessel. So these guys are spittle, these other nations. And you putting them on your radar, so to speak, or even speaking about them, uh, you're in a reprobate spirit. That's why all we talk about is Yahweh Shai and our people. All right, because we understand that our people are the children of power. Some guys know this. A lot of guys don't know this. That's why a lot of guys in the entertainment business, they start to figure out certain things and some of their shit starts to go wrong in the entertainment world because they start to find out that they're really under bondage. That money just has you bound in bondage. So you being famous... It, that that can work against you at the same time because you're enslaved unto the flesh unto money you enter this world that's why the lord said if you lose your life for his sake you will gain it but a lot of guys have lost their life for this world so they're they're going to lose their life at the end of this just like these guys in these groups they're going to lose their life because they've gained the world here so this is what you got to understand and you don't want to be around groups and camps all right you don't want to be around the world as much as possible you want to be able to um be separate from the world as much as possible you know we all have to make a living and work and shit like that but outside of that you have to especially dealing with this truth and the spiritual things of the world you don't know you do not want to be spiritually against the power in these times like guys are set up guys are set up to be spiritually against the new covenant of power and this was a design to slow down the process of the elect being sealed Matthew 16 and 3 and in the morning it shall be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering oh ye hypocrites you can discern the face of the sky right these guys they can tell you about the prophecies or all this shit that's happened currently in the world it says but ye cannot discern the signs of the times we're in a time that the sons of the resurrect the children of the resurrection the, the son of power the, the 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 sons of power are being manifested and the majority of our people they're against it because they're the children of hell by default just knowing a bunch of knowledge and shit that don't make you of god bro just because you've been teaching for 40 50 years that don't make you of god it doesn't so everything that's not built upon yahweh shy in these times is being discerned the Lord said if it's not built on faith um, if it's not if it's not built on faith then it is sin let that sink in <laughs> and faith is only in the new covenant so if you're not under the new covenant you're in sin I'm making it make sense so if you disagree with us brothers us few brothers that's really teaching from the heart over here um, then you're of the fucking world by default You're of the world 1 Corinthians uh, 2 and 14 But the natural man Receiveth not the things of the spirit of power They are foolishness unto him Neither can he know them Because they are spiritually discerned Right guys don't have a spiritual discernment They're carnal So guys can't understand what we're saying Because they're carnal They're unable to download The, the new software they have the old software, which they cannot update it. It's got to be eliminated. <laughs> First Corinthians 11 and 29 says, For he that drinketh, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation 
to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Right. So guys that say they're in the new covenant, check this out, because when Paul was speaking of this, guys that say they're teaching the new covenant, this ain't got nothing to do with the old laws of Moses. This is speaking of the new covenant terms when Paul is saying this. So guys that say they're in the new covenant and they're eating and they're drinking the new covenant unworthily, they're eating the bread of God and they're drinking and they're eating the damnation to himself, not not discerning the Lord's body. So they don't really understand the Lord's body because they're eating it and drinking of the new covenant unworthily. Let's go into that word discern real quick. For you guys that say you're the ministers of the new covenant. Get the fuck out of here. Shh. If you're the ministers of the new covenant, uh, that means that you're teaching what the Lord taught. You're not teaching men to smoke weed or, or buy prostitutes. Man, you guys are fucking, man. Shh. You're not teaching men shit like that, bro. It's fucking heavy, man. Now the word discerning. Strong's G twelve fifty two, diacrino, diacrino. Right. So if you're a carnal too, you don't have any spiritual discernment. So you don't really know what's right and what's wrong. So of course you would think the new covenant is foolish. So if you're in the new covenant and you you hear us brothers teaching or whatever. You're going to think we're foolish, too, because really you don't understand the covenant. Heavy, man. It says uh, to make separate, to make a distinction, discriminate, to prefer. So discerning is discriminating. It's making a, a distinct difference. It's separating shit. Guys can't separate. That's what's happening, too. The Lord tells you in Matthews, every, everybody, every fish has been gathered. And now you have to do the discerning now. It says, learn of learn by discrimination to try to decide. Right. Then the Lord said, try spirits. A lot of you guys ain't trying spirits. You just believe every fucking body. <laughs> I advise you guys to go back and read over the shit that, that, that we're reading. So you can learn it for yourself. A lot of you guys don't even learn for yourself. You just listen to elders for 15, 20 years. And now when us brothers come and we're actually teaching what the Lord actually taught, now it's a demon into you because you're realizing you really don't agree with God. It says to determine, give judgment, decide, dispute. That's what we're doing. We're showing man to be able to judge in these times spiritually by off of what the Lord was doing, what the apostles was doing in Acts. Every time I speak about the apostles, I'm talking about the ones in Acts, not these guys saying you need new bodies. I'm, tr I'm trying to find the scripture in there where Paul said you need new bodies to be with the Lord. I can't find it because it ain't in there. It says to withdraw one from de from dessert. It says to withdraw from one dessert, to separate oneself in a hostile spirit, to oppose, strive with, dispute, contend, to be various with oneself, hesitate, uh, doubt. So basically... What discernment is doing, it causes you to separate, it, it causes you to discriminate, and it, it causes you to judge spiritually. That's what this thing is about. It's about being able to see. So the Lord said that you have to see, understand with your heart. So if you don't have the heart to understand, then you're not going to be able to see what's really going on. Hebrews 4 and 12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. A lot of men are being cut through the spirit because their, their, their spirits, even though they're in these camps, what well, guys are figuring out too that their spirits don't even match up with God, bro. They're like they're against God. And it's a natural feeling for them to be like that. It's heavy. It says, piercing even through the dividing of son or soul and spirit and through the joints and marrow is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the hearts and is a discerner 
of the thoughts and intents of the hearts. So if you're in the spirit, you can actually discern men's hearts and the intents of their mind, the intents of their hearts. You can see that, man. And so what that will do will leave you alone. And what that will also do that will make you be hated of all men because you'll be able to see their hearts. And with that, repent. A hey, Shalom. Doesn't